Yeah, new shirts finally drop. Go check the link in the description, justbyronshop.com. Cop yourself a shirt. There's two types. Go cop yourself whichever one you like. There's some descriptions to help you find your selection. Go check it out. Let's go. Done. Oh shit, I did not taste it. All right, and lastly, we're going to be talking about who we would like to see on uh, Show Me The Money uh, in future seasons uh, for me and for Timo. Uh, we're kind of just going to bounce off each other. So m one of my notable mentions, I don't actually know if he is in this season, but he was also in Dropped a Bit and I didn't see him on this list, but his name is Hero in City. And um, uh, when I watch his performances, he's another one of those reps, singing rappers. But uh, I feel like his rap voice is pretty decent as well. So I'd like to see how he does on there. So he's like my, my notable mention because I don't actually know if he's actually on there or not. Maybe you can link this, but I will also give you the link later. You, maybe you can put it in the YouTube description or something because um, the blog post where this is from actually, they have an overview of actually everyone that applied. So I would assume mm -hmm. the ones that they put on the overview we have is more like the bigger names. Uh, maybe even the names that made it farther into dropped a bit. I don't know how far the other guy made that you just named, but uh, he's potentially on this list because there's like, I scrolled through it a little bit earlier and there's like almost 100 names I have never heard before. I'm sure of it. And yeah, the whole list is like 300 people. So probably he would be on there if, if he's going to, you know, con contest. Oh, he is on this list. Yeah. Hero in City. Yeah, he is actually, uh, he applied to Show Me 11. I, I guess I go next then. Because there's one name I actually don't have on my list, but uh, scrolling through this list of further names that actually apply to this season, I saw his name on there. And it's Bruno Champman from Season 9. Um, he's like that a bit more buff, bald guy from Season 9 uh, with an insanely aggressive voice and like really fast flow, actually. I am super looking forward to what he can bring and if he you know, got more versatile because he was also a little bit too one-dimensional. I remember that he... Like in like the contestant rounds they had, he always tried to pick like a certain BPM because he could only do that really. So he was super the one dimensional. Uh, but if he can actually, yeah, he is, he is, he is. So I'm looking forward to that for sure because he is really good technically, right? If he actually improved. And another contestant I would like to see come back, another comebacker is 365 Lit, who I actually became a fan of. Not, I, I didn't become a fan of him through um, Show Me The Money, actually. I, I don't even know how I got to know 365 Lit. I just, one day, I I, I think I saw him on um, a feature on Palo Alto songs, one of that song, and then his group under Songs Through Bridge was, like, kept popping up after I checked out that one song. And then uh, 365 Lit, I got really into his flow and how he raps. And he was also... Did a remix on Chang Mo's song. I forgot the name of the song, but he, on that remix, he was on there. And last season, last season, he was on there. Was it last season? Yeah, last season, 365 Lit was there and he did pretty well, but I want to see him have his own like solo stage so he can bring on, uh, under Songs Through Bridge and like have them all do a performance together, kind of like how, um, EK and NBA kind of, did that on Show Me The Money before. And um, yeah, he's like another one of my, my the people that I would like to 365 lit. Give him one more chance or give him another chance. I don't even know if he's there, but hopefully we get to see him again because uh, I feel like he can do some, do some more, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm just going to start on the top. I don't have really an order, but uh, I have like three bigger names and three like very unknown-ish names. The first I have is Hack with the unknown okay i'll do one unknown uh i'll do the first is athlete or almost written as athlete uh but not completely so he's like a young rapper uh one of the ones i found after i heard Domini for the first time he's also a screamo rapper um he's like 18 19 years old super super young uh, also a rookie i think he just debuted last year or maybe this year even and uh yeah, he's kind of, uh, if anyone here watching right now knows Scarlord or Scarlord X from yeah, the American hip-hop scene, he's kind of, I would say, the Korean Scarlord. 
um, very, very mixed between screamo rap, but then also like super aggressive trap. So yeah, he's really hype and I would love to see him. Uh, even though I'm not sure if he was ever going to do on this show because he is yeah, very made for underground rap, kind of like a justice, but like, you know, in the baby shoes. And speaking of EK, another contestant I would like to see is probably is EK actually, because um, he has had his own like solo stage performed with NBA, but um, I just kind of want to see if he is like tuned up in his rapping or like. I feel like if EK was to join in another season, I feel like he would be already a one candidate to win the show. Like, I don't know at the moment, I don't know if EK is still like making music or anything, but when he was on Show Me Lemon, he kind of killed it. And yeah, I just want to see him go one more round, see if he can, if he has anything different or if he like upgraded his rapping skills. I don't know, but if he has upgraded his rapping skills, then EK is definitely, if he is on the show, show me the money, like later se- future seasons, he's definitely a candidate to win for me. I have a controversial take about EK, why he's not coming back. He had that diss battle on season six or seven, I forgot. Uh, it was the same season where Young, Yonbi and Youngbi had a diss battle in the, like that fighting ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was that season where EK battled uh, Zene Dezella, I think. I do believe that EK even won that battle. I don't remember, though. But uh, I think that battle kind of broke his reputation a little bit because he was known for uh, the God song, right? That one Show Me The Money song that popped off in the season before. Um, he was known for that, and that's literally his most popular song. And Zene Dezella really dissed him well there and just kind of destroyed like the image he has, if that makes sense. Like his one thing that he had going for himself is kind of like yeah yeah everyone realized oh yeah it's only that one song right so i think ek has actually he has a fantastic song with um justice and huckleberry p actually one of the songs one of my favorite huckleberry p songs um so ek is very good i think he could potentially be um one of the winners i agree with that but i do believe he's Yes, exactly. But I do think EK is kind of scared in a way of he don't he doesn't want to touch Show Me the Money right now. I feel like he's just trying to do something else. Maybe I would assume he's like kind of not had good experiences on his last stay, even when like he, he felt a bit demotivated. Even I, if I remember correctly. Okay, I guess my my first not known name, although he is not that widely known, so I don't know. He's big but not widely known. Is Huckleberry P from Formerly Highlight. Um, he's like, in my opinion, one of the best rappers in K- uh, Korea. He has a crazy fast flow. He maybe might not be liked by everyone because his voice is also a bit more high pitched. But um, yeah, he's among one of the better uh, rappers in terms of lyrics. He has very very smart and and like actually good lyrics, very good flow, uh, and is just kind of underrated. I think he he's just not really talked about like. Most people that get into K hip hop and like know like 10 to 20 artists never heard about that guy um, because he also mostly stayed in highlight. He never really featured anywhere else. He never really did anything else. And I really want to see him to get more spotlight, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen. He's just, you know, not. Yeah, he's almost 40 or he's even 40. I'm not too sure. There's another name on this. I'm just going to say this name too right now because it's the same reason. Uh, it's Justice. So it's like. Justice and Huckleberry P are two of my favorite fast slash lyrically focused rapper uh, in Korea. And both of them are like kind of underground focused and they have publicly said, especially Justice, multiple times that they're not going to be on Show Me The Money. Uh, well, Justice kind of broke that with being producer now twice. But I just want to see those two people as a contestant. I know that they both would, especially Justice, would easily just win the show. Easy, like They don't even have to try, they would just win especially Justice, because now more people also know him, so there's popularity involved too. Um, but man, it would be so cool to just see them smash everyone. That's kind of, I want to see like a BY 2.0, which has never happened again, in my opinion, like that. So, like a, someone that just dominates the whole season and it's not even close to losing. And yeah, I think those two could do that, um, even though it's very unlikely. The thing is, Jogang Il was very untested though because he was like scared of 
stages. Um, he was not popular. He was also hated by a lot of people. So there was like a lot of factors that he had to overcome. But I think once he did in the season, which was like in the middle of it, I think it was like clear he was like the favorite to win. But I just don't think he dominated it. I, I think for having to dominate, this is like my view of that at least, is not that he is like the clear favorite, but is that he actually, every stage, he performs a stage where you're like, okay, literally nobody comes even like, like it's day and night, right? Night and day, whatever. Um, like between his stage and the other stages. It's like they they give the 120 every stage. I don't think Jogan did that. I think he had some like chill stages and like, I don't know, like experimental stuff, um, which is cool. But I just don't think he did that every stage. I actually just remembered that uh, Basic was also in that season, right? I actually think if Joe Gang Il was not in that season, I think Basic and also I don't know why he was not, you know, picked to make it through the round where he got eliminated, which is makes no sense to me. But Basic should have been someone that you know could have dominated everyone. Like he's insane, and he didn't. I feel like he didn't try even last season. I think he just chill and did some stuff. But another contestant that I think would do a well, and I think he. Did like I think he did really well in last season, but Don Mills was on there last season. It was his first time being on Show Me the Money, and I felt like he should have beat. In my opinion, I felt like he should have beaten um, Soko Domo or whatever. But I, but I don't know. I just felt like I like Don Don Mills flow a little bit more in terms of if his rapping, and I felt like his solo stage would have been uh, able to be one of the winning ones. Uh, but uh, Soko Domo. Uh, I believe the the kind of like the 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 song maybe wasn't right for for Don Mills or something, but I would love to see Don Mills go there one more time because I would like to see him have his own solo stage as well, like his own like final stage or semi final stage or whatever, or him have his have a stage like just him and a feature whoever. So Don Mills, if he is on the on another season, then I think he's another candidate to win for uh the show because i thought i think last year i'm not sure if he was considered a candidate to win but i thought he was going to do really well because he has been uh there has been like producing stages and don mills has featured on deep flows producing stage and uh he he killed it so i think i don't think because don mills didn't really make any mistakes last season i think just uh i guess the song wasn't right for Don Mills and Zion T wanted to go with a uh, uh, fresher face, a uh, new face and, uh, in Soko Domo. But, uh, yeah, I, I would love to see Don Mills one more time. Just see how he does because his, his, he would be a really good candidate. Yeah. Yeah. He would be very high for sure. And I think he's also a really cool guy. Like he's super, not necessarily the nice, nice guy, but he's like, you know, just a good guy, you know? So I like him as a person too, which is not very common uh, in Xiaomi Money. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna go with the the unknown first, so because it's kind of quicker. Uh, it's a rapper, a female rapper actually. Um, there's another one on this list, but her name is Deep Sea. Um, the S written with a dollar sign, <laughs> and uh, yeah, her career is pretty much fucked right now because she was in the label uh, FTW for the Win Records which uh, was Bully the Bastard's label, which if you heard about this, he was recently uh, put in prison for having, yeah, yeah, for having meth. Um, like, I mean, he, yeah, I mean, yeah, he has been in trouble a lot. So, well, now he's in prison again, um, but a bit longer, I think. So that's bad. So yeah, that's his label. So he's probably kind of fucked. And that label was, I mean, literally Bully the Bastard's uh, backyard label anyway. So what does that mean? It's not big anyway. But yeah, she is um, kind of similar to Bully the Bastard in rap. She's really, really aggressive and good. Like, she's kind of like Sins, but much more aggressive even, which is crazy because Sins is already aggressive. So I think she's really cool. She's definitely a little bit inexperienced. And she's, I think, also quite old. She's like in her mid-30s, if I heard that correctly sometime. So she's kind of like a like a person that just is kind of doing it for fun in a way and not really taking it that serious. But she would kill people on this show. So I would love to see that. 
yeah, that's kind of like the reason for that. And also, I kind of want to want to represent like some female rappers that you know are like really good, but not many people know about it. And uh, Damini was one of them, but she is now on the season, so I didn't pick her. And I would say for an honorable mention in terms of female rappers, I didn't really talk too much about female rappers, but um, there isn't any on here that I really know. But uh, someone I would like to see is probably uh, Youngji, who was in High School Rapper 3, and he and she actually won that season. But I don't, in my opinion, I don't think she would be on Show Me the Money for popularity because I think she's actually super popular. She's has her own show and she's been on Running Man and like everything. So I don't think she would be on there to be to get popularity. I think she would just be there to show that she can rap, and um, it would be pretty cool to see. Uh, Young G go on and show me the money. I think she would be a pretty good, uh, candidate. Not to, I don't know if she would win, but, uh, it'd be pretty cool to see her on there. And, um, yeah, that, sh- she was my, my double, notable mention. If I had to mention like a female rapper that I would like to see on show me the money, Young G is probably my, my one. Yeah. She, she would be cool. I just don't think she has that competitiveness in a way of like the adult competitiveness i think she would be too nice if that makes sense like in this battles for example like she would be like too nice and lyrics and like she would smile more she would do more like a comedic thing but at the same time she has like aggressive dark deep voice which doesn't match so i i just don't think she she would do like that well but she should be interesting to watch and she's obviously funny as fuck so i have another kind of like dream pick like kind of like a justice type of pick where it's probably never going to happen, but I want to see it. And uh, it's Jackie Y. Uh, I want to see Jackie Y just for once fucking return with original songs because she has not had that in three years. Pretty much since Fade Away, the one uh, Michael Jordan themed song, which was 2019. Yeah, but it's like not her own song, right? So it's not an original Jackie Y. So um, although also that's her first feature in two years as well. So... Yeah, she's not really had anything. She doesn't post anywhere. She's not really talked about. And I feel like she's just kind of done with K-pop. And maybe like if friends ask her to do something, maybe she does it because she's really good friends with Lil Cherry. So I feel like that's maybe it. And also good friends with Kugi, um, which she did a song with in 2019 or 20 maybe. Um, so she doesn't really do much anymore. And I really want to see her return because she is my favorite uh, female rapper. And what better way to do it than show me the money, which I don't think she has been on, although I'm not too sure, maybe in earlier seasons, but I don't think she has. And I think she definitely needs to improve a lot and show something new, but she would be so interesting to watch in show me the money because she's a super cool character. Like she has some cool things to say and she would be interesting to like, to watch her do like team missions with other people like like this Jackie Y 10 years into business kind of female rapper is like very rare to find. You know, most female rappers are either very new because it's kind of like a new thing now or they're just not around anymore because they gave up or just never made it. So it is cool. And also I want to see her talk about the beef with, Jackie, uh, with Swervy, which she never did, which will 100% be brought up if she makes it on Show and Money. So yeah, I want to see that. And this is probably my, my two, like, I don't, I don't know. I have like a, like a, the, all the names I've mentioned so far. I don't, there's like no list really, but, uh, my neck, my last two that I have is like my top two that I would like to go into show me the money. One, our real goat who was again there last season. And, um, I think that he has a really good, uh, story and he is like a, a lot of people say that he's like the under, under, Dog underdog. I don't know what it, but um, I don't really know how he got this popular. But I th- think that he started collabing with a lot of underground rappers, and then he started getting uh, like noticed through there. He also did. I think he did some songs with Jay Park as well. But he and the homies are like actually really cool, and they made a, so- a lot of songs together. So I would like to see Aru go go on have like his own solo stage. And then perform with the home, with homies because homies is another crew, rap crew that I, I've been a pretty big fan of these days. Just like the, their voices are like really 
like they can like harmonize, right? Because they have three members and um, like with a low voice, a medium voice, and a high pitch voice, which with Louis, who is the high pitch voice, his actual voice doesn't sound like that. But uh, it's pretty cool to see him like go that high pitch when he really doesn't speak like that. So uh, yeah, with Louis, I feel like a lot of people, I'm not sure if people like Louis' flow because like it's kind of high pitched and I don't know, some of you guys might get annoyed with his flow, but that's what I thought in the beginning with me. Uh, Louis, I kind of was annoyed by, by his rapping and his flow and everything with his high pitched voice. But as I listen to more of Homie's songs, I actually really like his flow now. And it's really, uh, it gets me going, you know, along with uh, Chin and CK. So, um, Arbo Goat is uh, another person I would like to see go there uh, beyond Show Me Money again. I'm not sure. Like I said, he's not listed on here. But um, Arbo Goat would be another mention that I, or another person that I would like to see go on Show Me the Money and have one of those uh, final stages because I think Arbo Goat would have a really good final stage and not final stage but like solo stage and can can like kind of tell his story you know what I mean because uh, he hasn't really had his own solo stage he was there last season but he got eliminated during one of the rounds and he couldn't really perform one of his own stages so I just want to see him another on another season and to like have his own stage if that makes sense my last name on the list is kind of like a similar name to well you could say huckleberry p but also he's similar to some guys that are on this show right now or like contestants in in the season uh don malik and also qm so he's like one of more of the older guys and it's ugly duck actually from amg um yeah recently i've been getting into it a bit more he also of course debuted in 2011 so uh, also 11 years i looked it up earlier as huckleberry p so very long careers now considering k-pop is not that old um and yeah ugly duck is insane he has a lot of features on j park songs for example i think they even have a collab album and he is crazy actually he has one of the most interesting flows i've ever heard he just does some random ass shit reminds me a lot of one of my favorite rappers actually in um well american rap because I listen to a lot of American rap, is um, JAD or JIT. I don't know if you've heard of him. And he's, do you know J. Cole? Yeah, he's on J. Cole's label. So maybe that's something. Um, but yeah, he has like a flow thing, which Ugly Duck kind of does too, where they have like just flow jumps very randomly in, in like in the middle of a line and you just never expect it. And also they're very fast in general. So it's just very different fast flows, which is interesting to watch. My last and final person I would love to see on Show Me The Money. And this is like my one, my number one. And I think if this guy was to join uh, any season, he's going to win. He's going to be win. He's going to win. Uh, Kim ha on He is my one. Like, I, I don't know. Because like when, I, when Higher Music came out with their compilation album, when I first heard... Uh, Kim Hoon on it on like with his flow and everything it I already wanted to see him on show me the money and it'd be pretty cool for a high school rapper winner to also win a show me the money season and I think he'll be like the one that only want to do it you know I mean, unanimous MVP kind of like that thing so yeah I think uh Young B tried that right because he won season one of high school rapper and then he made it uh, semi-finals or finally even I think in season eight of uh, Show Me The Money. I think Punchinello won in the final, I think, right? Against uh, Young B. Yeah. So he, he came very close. But yeah, I think Haon could also do that. Yeah, I agree. And he is one of my favorites. I mean, I literally, um, High School Rapper Season 2 is my favorite uh, K-Hip-Hop show season of all time. I think it's maybe uh, maybe Season 6 of Show Me The Money or Season 5. Those could contest it, but I think High School Rapper 2 is the best just because so many good names and also Haon is amazing. And I think um, Kim Haon has, has a lot to prove and it can prove a lot, you know, with his rap. And if you guys haven't heard their uh, high, higher music, red tape, blue tape, go listen to it and you'll hear Kim Haon on there. And I feel like he can be a lot of rappers in Show Me The Money. So he is my, definitely my number one. I think if he was to join a season, 
any season, I think he could, he would be a notable candidate to win. In my opinion, I think he would win. And I've already kind of, I don't know if I've said this on camera, but I've always said this to myself and maybe on camera as well. I'm not sure that if Kim Hong ever goes on Show Me the Money, he is going to win. That's my statement. Uh, and if he really does, I'm going uh, to say it again. I'll make another part, one of these podcasts that's not messed up. And I'm going to say if Kim Hong is actually on next on a Show Me the Money, he is going to win. Ugly Duck was my bonus pick. Because I wanted like a top five and Ugly Duck is kind of like a, a thing because I just found him. So I, it's not really something I have like a big following behind, not a big motivation, but it's just he's good. So, I mean, my list is kind of like that, right? I have, I have four names that literally don't want to be on this. <laughs> and then I have two un- uh, like very, very unknown names that, uh, you know, probably can't even be on this because nobody will accept them. <laughs> but yeah, I just want to dream big, you know, because... At this point, I've seen pretty much everyone that I want to see on Show Me Money before, at least once. And, um, you know, some people obviously get better over the years, so maybe it would be cool to see a Super B again, even though he obviously sat at Season uh, 7 that he will never come back if he didn't win. Like, it was his last attempt. And even though he should have won against Loopy, <clears throat> um, he, he didn't, so I don't think he's going to come back, but maybe. All right, so that is it for this episode of the John Podcast. I thank Timo again for being on this episode. And for the viewers, I'm sorry. Apologies again for having this weird format and us not really, me and Timo not really talking to each other per se. But me and, I guess this is just me and Timo's talking to you guys about who we like on Show Me The Money, who we want to see on Show Me The Money, uh, producing teams, who we like what we think of the teams and who we would like to see on um, be a producing team on Show Me the Money. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, again, I will watch it on Twitch um, as soon as subs out. So I don't know about you if you're gonna watch it somewhere live where you know people can follow you. Maybe even Patreon. Not sure, but um, yeah, definitely everyone is welcome to to join me and you know both of us um, if you also do it. But no, I'm, I'm very happy, very happy that you invited me to be on here again. And uh, yeah, as always, I mean, it was the second time, but as last time, it was very fun. But hopefully you guys still enjoyed this video. I still wanted to put this out. I didn't want to just delete this video, and not put it out because Timo and I, well, and Timo uh, took his time out of his day to record with me. And I appreciate that a lot. I don't want his recording to go to waste, you know what I mean? So I still wanted to post something. So hopefully... This was still something entertaining for you guys. And um, again, I'm sorry for the weird format, but I promise you guys next episode of John Podcast will be better. And it will be actually me and another person talking. And um, I promise I won't delete my own audio, which I'm stupid. I'm so mad at myself for doing. And I really couldn't uh, get the f- recover the file. So that's why I have to result to doing this format. So... Again, thank you, Timo, for being on the show or being on the John podcast. And let me know in the comments who you would like to see me uh, chat with or if there's a person or a guest you want me to see, want to see on the John podcast. Let me know in the, ch- in the comments who you would like to see. And uh, in the comments, let me know your thoughts of uh, what we what we have said. Uh, do you agree with our top two picks of who would win Show Me the Money this season? Who would, who do you think is going to win Show Me the Money this season? Let us know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace guys. Bye bye.